Good morning to you all, to students, parents, principals, guidance counselors, teachers. I'm Tracy Davidson from NBC10, and it is my pleasure to welcome you here to this fifth annual Widener University and NBC10 High School Leadership Award event. It's really an honor to host you in this venue as well, the National Constitution Center. This year, we're recognizing a record number of incredible student leaders for their outstanding contributions and commitments to their schools and to their communities. To the students in the room today, this morning, you are truly an inspirational group of young people. You really are. You have each displayed unparalleled acts of courage, fought for what you believed in, and made a significant impact on those around you. And as you complete your high school career and head off to college, I hope that you continue such great works of service. Your selflessness and compassion for helping your peers, your mentors, your families, communities, will lead you to continued success. In a world with so many distractions, you have proven to be a guiding force for making this world a better place. You're dreamers and doers and innovators and voices for the voiceless, and we thank you for that. Like you, I'm dedicated to giving back to the community I say that I'm here to serve, that's why I'm put on this earth. And I'm lucky enough to do so by being a reporter for the past 30 years because I can make relationships with people in the community. Connecting with people and giving back is a priority for me. So to see that you all are doing that at such a young age, I'm just so very impressed and so very inspired by the stories that I've already heard about so many of you. And as I look around the room, I'm delighted to know that you all are the future. Future leaders, teachers, inventors, doctors, maybe some news anchors, I don't know. And learning about the amazing achievements that you've already accomplished, there's no doubt in my mind that our society's future is indeed very bright. I've never been more inspired by such a growing group, a large group, to look through that book and to hear some of your stories and to think all of this is going on in our community. How lucky are we to have you all in our community? Now, usually I discourage technology at the table, but this morning I am encouraging it because I'd like you to share this event, and I already tweeted one tweet. Uh, I'd like to you to share it on social media using the hashtag Widener Leadership. Please follow me, Tracy Davidson. <laughs> Widener, Widener University will be tweeting, I'll be tweeting. So jump in on the conversation, take pictures and tweet what you're talking about at your tables, what this experience is like for you. And then also there are Instagram boards around, so please take an opportunity to use those as well. Once again, thanks for being here and let the celebration continue. Now please join me in inviting Dr. Julie Woolman, president of Weiner University, to say a few words to you this morning. Thank you, Tracy, for kicking off this celebratory event. It's wonderful to have all of you here and, and such a a full space of very, very special people. On behalf of Widener University, it's my pleasure this morning to welcome every one of you to the High School Leadership Awards Ceremony. I joined Widener University as president in January, so this is my very first High School Leadership Awards Ceremony. And I have to tell you, I am truly inspired by the young men and young women sitting in this room. Your accomplishments, your empathy, your integrity, and your service are inspirational. Today, we are here to honor you for your ability to stand up for what is right, address a wrong when you see it, and make a difference in your schools and communities. And how fitting that we are at the National Constitution Center, an institution dedicated to freedom, leadership, and active citizenship. The number of nominations received this year was remarkable. 
and I was thoroughly impressed by each and every one of you. Your commitment to your schools and communities is exceptional, and your dedication deserves to be celebrated. In addition to being honored here today, you will also receive a scholarship of $20,000 over four years should you choose to enroll at Widener University. And I encourage you to think very carefully about the great opportunity to enroll at Widener University. It is truly a wonderful place. You'll be invited to attend a leadership conference in the fall on the Widener campus so you can become an even stronger leader during your senior year of high school. The quality of the young men and women here today reaffirms my strong belief in the mission of Widener University, a mission that is deeply rooted in responsible, active citizenship. You embody Widener's focus on academic excellence, personal character, courage, dedication, and leadership. Many of you have traveled near and far to help those less fortunate. You have started clubs that tackle the issues of bullying and inequality in your schools. You lead initiatives at local churches and homeless shelters and schools for children with disabilities. You serve on your school's student government, activity committees, and sports teams. Most importantly, you have made a positive impact on the lives of people around you. We are proud to recognize you for your efforts and your continued hard work. I know your parents, teachers, guidance counselors, principals, and peers are proud of you too. I look forward to personally congratulating each of you and seeing your leadership in action during the upcoming breakout session. Now, I turn the stage over to Dr. Arthur Schwartz, the founding executive director of the Oskin Leadership Institute at Widener University. Welcome, everyone. It's so exciting. This is my fifth breakfast, and it's so wonderful to see it grow every, each and every year. I want to take this moment first to thank my fellow faculty and staff who are at many of the tables. I wish I had time to introduce all of you, but we have two chemistry professors here, including the chair of the chemistry uh, department, Professor Bastin. So on behalf of all those from student life, from enrollment services, I just want to thank you so much for joining us today. And a little bit later, you'll listen to the students who are in the front here who are currently at Widener who are involved in leadership in ours, at our school. But right now, we have a special activity. When you come to Weiner and you be involved in leadership, you learn that leadership is not just leading others or leading change, but it's also leading yourself, understanding you. And part of that is to know what drives you, to know what motivates you, to know what inspires you. And so what we have in front of the glass jars right there are questions that we're asking the facilitator to take each one and pass the glass jar around and take one and open it, read it, and answer the question so we can, all of us together, we can learn more about what motivates us to lead, what motivates us to make this world a better place. So with the facilitators, if you would take the glass jar now and begin, learning about ourselves. Thank you. <laughs> 